Hello world, it's Becoming Her, and I just graduated a couple months ago from Carnegie Mellon University with a degree in computer science, and today I'm going to be telling you exactly how I became to be a CS major in the first place, and what I did to get into CMUSCS as well as counseling. number one off with the basics. Obviously, you're probably going to have to be a pretty decent student, and if you're not, yeah, you might want to get on that. That doesn't mean that you necessarily have to have all A's, but generally you're going to have to have pretty decent grades. Unfortunately, you are required to have some extracurriculars and not just spend your time making sure that you do well in your classes, though obviously you're expected to do that too. It's so, so it's totally completely fair. As a high school student, you're probably going to be in one of the most busy times of your life. You're going to be juggling all these different things. I know when I was a high schooler, I did high school swimming and, as, and club swimming year round. I was also in the orchestra. I did a year of robotics. I did a year of forensics, which is public speaking competitions. And I also had like a certificate in piano. There's just a lot of stuff that was happening. And you're gonna have to continue doing those things or pick up maybe a couple things to help you with your college applications. One thing that colleges seem to really like seeing is sports. So looking at my friends that ended up going to really good Ivy League universities, a lot of them had sports. One of them who went to MIT, played a lot of soccer. Another one who went to Princeton was a super big tennis person. Colleges like sports because it builds things like tenacity and grit and willpower and teamwork. And so having a sport on your extracurriculars list is definitely a plus. Well, check if you have an internship. That's pretty freaking amazing. But otherwise, you can also do things like open source projects if you're just looking for things to be interested in. However, if you do have an internship, definitely put that on there. That is crazy. So, a good thing to stand out with. You might be thinking, if I want to be a CS major and get into a school like CMU, then what classes should I really be focusing on? Now, the answer is all of them. But if you are really thinking about computer science in particular, CMU likes to look at physics and math. And that is because your CS degree, full disclosure, is pretty much an applied math degree. And when I mean math, I mean like discrete mathematics, which you don't have to know at all right now. Trust me, you'll learn it in college. However, a good indicator on whether you will be able to handle things like discrete mathematics is if you do well in calculus, in linear algebra and statistics, and all of the other things that maybe you do already have exposure with. That doesn't mean that other sciences don't matter, it's just that in particular, I've definitely heard from these admissions people that they look at physics and mathematics. And then obviously the last thing in the basics category is your standardized testing. You want to do well on your SATs or ACTs. And even if a school says that they don't require the test, it might still be a good idea to take it anyways, especially if you're one of the people who think that you're going to do really well. <coughs> yes, Chick, it is quite daunting to take these standardized tests. Share <coughs> my scores. Okay. Personally, my score was 835 for the ACT and a 1570 out of 1600. For the SATs, I know that those tests keep changing. I, I took mine in 2016. Yes, these tests are hard, but at the end of the day, they are really just something that you can totally gain if you just study for them. I spent a lot of time just going through old practice versions of the SATs and ACTs, and eventually you're gonna pin the time down and you're gonna get a hang of it. So if you have time, just study. Technically, you can look also score averages for all of the people who get into these universities for senior SES. I don't know, I think the average for like the SAT section of math is like 800. Moving on to section number two of things that I did to get into these universities is pre-college programs. The whole thing that these college admissions people are trying to figure out about every student that applies to them is whether the student will do well as a college student at their university. If they're going to graduate and go on and become a good person in their alumni network. The way to really convince them that you will do well in college is by taking a college class and doing well as a high schooler. I mean, it's pretty straightforward, but at the same time, you're like, how do I, how do, I do that? Well, you go to pre-college summer programs, <laughs> right? Yeah, I didn't know that they existed until my friends told me about it in junior year. This, I can say for pretty much certain, is the one thing that made me stand out and get me into CMUSCS as well as Caltech. I attended SAMS, the Summer Academy for Math and Sciences, summer before my senior year of high school, and this is a program at CMU, I'll link the page below, that basically showed that I could be a good college student. The SAMS program itself is actually only for underrepresented minorities in the fields of science and technology. However, there are similar programs 
or ones that are open to everybody in lots of different universities. So you definitely should check them out. And I know for a fact that my participation in this program allowed me to work with two language technology professors at CMU, and I got one of them to write me letters of recommendation to all of my university applications. And when I sat down with the admissions officer that got me into Caltech, they specifically mentioned the SAMS program on my application and how that after they'd seen that I'd done well there, that they were pretty confident I could do well at Caltech. My thoughts <laughs> were a different story, I think, that I told him to feel about with Caltech. However, it did get me into that university. So I highly recommend looking at these programs. I can do a whole separate video on my experience at SAMS. If anyone wants to know, I will tell you it was Definitely not easy. It was probably, well, I think it's the worst summer I've ever had, honestly. I definitely learned so much during that time, but I had a miserable time. Not because of logistics or anything, simply just because I was so stressed out. So it was pretty difficult. Now, you don't have to go to SANS in particular. There are lots of different programs all over the country and all sorts of universities for students to basically take college level courses over the summer and get grades in them, get like a transcript, and you live on the campus dorms. Basically, you experience what being a college student is like while you're still a high schooler and you get to prove to them that you will do well. I remember my friends telling me that there was something similar at MIT and pretty much if you could get into that summer program at MIT then you had a pretty decent chance of getting into MIT itself. So colleges really do take these things seriously. If you want to go to a specific school, try to see if you can get into their summer program first. Sometimes there's like a paid version. I know Sam's was an all expensive paid version of these programs, but Carnegie Mellon also has just pre-college summer courses that people can pay to take as well. The applications for these pre-college programs generally open in the spring. I think probably somewhere around February, March. So definitely keep a lookout for it. I would do some more research on Google, look at colleges and see if they have these sorts of programs and definitely look into attending one of them. <laughs> hey, yes college programs are not necessarily easy to get into and if you can't or if you can't afford to then that's totally okay. You can also show that you will be a good college student just by taking classes online. You can go to things like MIT OpenCourseWare or Khan Academy or even just take classes at your local community college. Moving into section number three of things that I find are particularly helpful in making me stand out as a college applicant is Participating in competitions, especially competitions that may be sponsored by or run by different universities. I had a friend who participated in an MIT social studies slash history type research competition and she got honorable mentions and she also got into MIT. So I would say look for competitions that your universities that you're interested in might be hosting and definitely think about participating in them, especially if you end up doing well, that can be a huge plus to your application. You can also participate in national competitions. Obviously there's things like Science Olympiad and Chemistry Olympiad and you know, all the sciences have their Olympiads. There's also things like Math Olympiad. I know that CMU particularly asks you whether you have a AMC score and if you've trained and taken the competition and if you get into Amy or if you qualify for you know, got like US JMO, then all of those things show them that you are familiar with this type of competitive environment and that you can do well, then it's a huge plus. And number four, the last one is just that essays matter. It's not really a big surprise. I'm sure you heard this, but it's really true. People will overlook their college application essays thinking that maybe their scores or their grades or their extracurriculars even will just speak for themselves. And all of that is a part of it, but your essays are the only part that allow the admissions board to see who you really are like as a person. Since they can't meet every single applicant face to face, and then the next best thing is just reading your writing. So one, you have to remember to be truthful when you're writing these essays because they can tell when you're lying. Don't have someone else do it for you or whatever. That's just not a good idea. That means that you should probably at least be a decent writer. And if you're not, then go and just read some books. It really helps with your flow and your creativity and the way you phrase things and definitely has a huge impact on how your writing sounds. But more than being a good writer, you need to have confidence. <laughs> this trick, I understand that it can be pretty nerve wracking because you actually don't know whether you are going to be selected or you are good enough to get in. But that is exactly why you need to have Confidence sounds like the exact opposite of what you're feeling right now, but your goal is to persuade these people that you belong to the school. Why not put yourself in a mindset where you're already on campus and you're already admitted to? What do you love about the school? Is it the people? Is it the environment? Is it your 
opportunities? What do you really think makes it stand out and makes you feel happy and like you belong and why you're grateful for the experience? All of these things should come across in your essay. If you have the confidence, then it really helps with convincing them that that's where you belong. One thing that they're always looking for in your college essays is passion. Now, what if you're like me, you weren't actually passionate about it? I mean, I had friends who knew that they wanted to be doctors or whatever since literally third grade. And I always looked at them and I was like, oh, man, I wish I knew what I wanted to do when I grow up. And it got to senior year and I was sitting there and I was like, so, um, so, so you're telling me I have to choose like now? Huh? But, but what if I don't know? Oh, you don't care. Okay. I personally didn't know what I really wanted to do even while I was applying to colleges. When people were asking me, why do you want to be a CS major? I was like, well, computer science and programming and technology is a tool. It's a tool that we can use in society and it's a tool that is super powerful. It can touch a lot of lives and a lot of people. And I don't think you could possibly go wrong with learning such an important and valuable tool. And so, and whatever I want to do in the future, whatever I want to build, to make, to help better people or whatever, I think that technology will help me be able to do it. So I think a computer science degree is where I want. And that's pretty much what I said. Maybe it's different for you because I had no prior CS experience. It's actually shocking. I know. How did I get into CMU as a CS major without really ever taking a CS class? I had a few small projects, one of them mainly from this SAMS college program. But aside from that, really, I didn't have much programming experience at all. So if you have, if you've taken an APCS course, then talk about it. Maybe you really like making websites or games. Maybe you really like programming robots. If you have experiences in these, definitely go dive into them and talk about what makes you so passionate, what you want to do with it, where do you see it going in your life. Those are things that you should be asking yourself and things that you should be putting onto your application. One thing that I really, really want to urge you to be in your college application essays is creative. <laughs> Did you just say that CS people don't need to be creative? Actually, you're wrong because computer science is pretty creative. Computer science is like programming and logic and analytical and you're asking me to be a creative person in my essays? Yes, exactly. Because computer science is pretty much just a degree in problem solving. You're solving math problems, you're solving logic problems, you're debugging. But in order to solve problems, you need to be creative. You're never gonna be able to debug an application just by reading and regurgitating things in some textbook. You're gonna have to think outside of the box and approach things at different angles. In fact, the building blocks of computer science is all based in mathematics, which is a lot of proof writing. And proofs can only be solved by these mathematicians by being creative. So you want to show that you are creative as well. That doesn't mean that you have to be artsy. You don't have to be an artsy person or a musical person, though it's great if you are. Definitely showcase that and highlight that as well. But it just means that you have to show them you can think outside of the box and give them examples of that. Correlate that to your ability to problem solve and be a good engineer. Remember that essays are supposed to showcase your personality, so don't be afraid to be jokey or sassy or just very truthful. Make sure that you triple check your grammar, have maybe a friend read over it, give you feedback. These are things that may be personal to you, but that's okay. I would not shy away from writing about personal issues because I know that I put some personal stuff into my comment application and it's fine. If the administration people are not going to post it anywhere, like they're gonna read it and if the essence is you, then that's what they want. All right guys, I hope that I gave you some tips that maybe you haven't really heard before. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I'm happy to answer things about my own experience, though it has been a little bit of a while. So yeah, good luck to you. And if you really think that you deserve to be in school that you're applying to, then show them. Yeah.